Cavan for Sam. Cavan for Sam. And if you're from Ireland, you'll know what that means. Cavan for Sam. What? Morning all. So day day four of our Ireland adventure. So uh, I'm just in the hotel room, not going down for breakfast for a little bit. Bit of a lie in this morning, really. Uh, I've managed to trash the room actually, as usual. Kind of, you know, when you turn up places. And this is a good tip for anyone going on holiday. If you wanted, to, you know, when you know when you go away somewhere and you arrive at a place and it all looks lovely, the hotel room and everything. Always take the picture as soon as you arrive because. Basically, I've turned this place into a slum. Can you <laughs> can you see behind me? I've got my bags all messed up. The bed's a mess. As usual, this is really funny, right? Even though uh, I've got a massive bed and it is massive. Oh, it must be king, super king size or something. I still slept on the left-hand side, on the side that I always sleep on at home, and my wife always sleeps on the right. I, you know, I could have spread over the whole bed, but habit, I just slept on the side, and I'm still on the edge of the bed weird anyway um i'm in the hotel room now we've got we're going uh meet some young lad from up the road's actually gonna call in because he wants to say hello which is nice uh his mum saw we were in cavern and thought oh i would love to meet him so we're going to say hello to this lad in the reception before we get a breakfast but um i'm looking at this window view that's lovely isn't it same about the uh, air conditioning unit right outside the window i can hear all night let me shut that actually um, yeah, so today uh, we haven't really got a definite plan. I'm possibly going back to see Adrian up at I Farm, We Farm before we head off towards Dublin. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting to the Guinness factory, but I don't know whether he ends up for that and whether we'll fit that in with the timing of dropping the car off and everything like that. Um, but the, uh, I kind of had a few thoughts about last night me meeting Adrian and also about sort of farming in Ireland and everything. Because uh, it's really funny, I sort of never really realised, uh, or never thought about it that much, how I've got quite a big following in Ireland, never thought about that much in the, you know, uh, and then I sort of, as I've been here, I've kind of got to understand a little bit why that is, um, probably because I relate, you know, my, our farm, our little farm relates quite directly to the sort of similar sized farms, you or a lot of the similar sized farms here in Ireland, because I, you know, from going around chatting to people, there are a lot of small family-based farms, um, not particularly big, uh, milking maybe a small number of cows, or they've got land and they work on the farm, and they also have another job somewhere else because you know the farming isn't enough to make a whole living out of. Uh, and, and going up to see Adrian, I kind of got a bigger picture of that really because he's milking 50 cows, and I sort of said to him, you know what's it like around here uh, and he said well there's a lot of farms like this size well so in the UK I have to confess I'm a little bit unusual um, in the fact that we were milking only 70 cows and sometimes I have to confess I'm a little bit embarrassed about that when I go to meetings and I usually when we go me and my brother said about before when we go to meetings now we, we kind of quite often don't like saying really how many cows we milk because everyone's stri driven to get 150 200 cows bigger and bigger all the time in the uk uh, so we're the kind of like little small guys around the corner with a little corner shop if you like of farming um but having said that i i th honestly think the small farm is better i really do not just because i've got one but i've seen you know how it works on you know in a network of farming communities i think that's a better bet all right hang on just change my battery and i'll be back about this Aha, back again the battery was just about to die on me then so yeah small farms in in ireland you know it is difficult to make a living on a small farm and there's no doubt about that but i think as a lifestyle for a family and everything i i, I think it's a better option really I'm, I'm biased okay but i see how you can sort of have a, a kind of lifestyle where you're not de dedicated to just paying for machinery, you're not constantly having to look after workforce, you're not constantly having to sort of think about the issues with slurry and stuff like that. Um, okay, you might argue that um, 
you know, the bigger farms make more money, so they pay for everything, and maybe, you know, pressures of finance are easier, but in some ways they're worse, because a lot of farms carry a lot of debt, and they're, and they're kind of stressing over the amount of labour they need to employ. Um, but also, from a farming community point of view, a large number of farmers in an area is a lot better, I think, than having a, a couple of big ones, because you've got kind of a community going on for starters, you know, mental health and everything like that. If you've got a chap down the road, you can go and see he's got 50 k's. you can go and have a chat with him, you can go and borrow something off him perhaps. Whereas the guy who has got a thousand acres, another thousand acres over there, you might see them, you hardly ever see them. And you know, the country then becomes a little bit boring. The countryside is a better place for a lot of little farmers in the area because the impact on the lifestyle and community is quite significant if you've got a lot of little farms around you. I've seen them all dwindling where I live. I, I, I kind of, I hope Ireland can hold on to the smaller farms really. You know, gradually in our area, it's becoming a lot more bigger, powerful farmers. A lot of the ones that are left can sort of wipe out the small guys like me because I can't compete financially against the big guys who can sort of come in and hoover up the, the spare land. And you know, oh, five acres of land came up next to me. I couldn't afford to buy it because I'm going to get outbid by the guy who's probably sold part of his farm off for development or something like that but also financially you can spread that cost over a large number of acres. Um, so hey, there's there's a reason to be big, I suppose. You can, you can be more domineering if you want to do that. But, um, you know, as, as I see it with a small farming community, I think you're stronger together in a, in a big network of, of lots of little farms. And I, I kind of hope Ireland will keep that. Um, but whether it can or not, I really don't know. Uh, maybe you're just behind us with a, a few years and then you'll be all big farms and little you'll be if you're watching this as a young person maybe in 50 years time you'll be driving around and you'll might possibly think what the funky farmer said when you look around and go i can remember when that was a farm that was a dairy farm remember that was a farmer and that's but there you go much some might say that's progress other people might not all right that was actually it's a bit early for that isn't it it's breakfast time and i'm not really here to lecture um, I'm going to go on down and have breakfast. We'll work out a plan. We might do a little bit of video through the day, j just the kind of final day, really. All right, crack on. Must tidy this. I got a pack. I got to pack up. Look, bag full of dirty washing. Got my phone on charge. Got me. I got. It's got I've squashed the box a box of it. I've got an Abbey uh, forager to take back for Harry. <coughs> and I got my shirt from my farm. We farm. That was a nice thing to do, wasn't it? He, Look at that, that's pretty cool. I wonder, that, that's Cavan, I think, in Gaelic, is it? Like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have a coffee, go, and then I'm gonna go down to breakfast, and we're gonna head on out. It's a bit nippy today, but in a nice way. Right, and then back to the real world tomorrow, you know? Uh, back to the real life of farming. It's quite funny, really, because uh, the reality is, when we go out, you, what you don't want to do in any of this game, right, you don't want to get a big head and think you're better than anyone else. So we go out somewhere and we're very fortunate, okay, so we were looked after really well by a comp the company Abbey. Um, and we go, pe we've been out places and people have chatted to us and they want to get pictures with us and stuff. But I know at the end of the day, when I go home, my wife and kids treat me just like everyone else. <laughs> there there isn't any kind of uh, media love there. <laughs> We're just normal, regular guys who do this stuff. And I think probably that maybe that's why the audience stay with people like me and I farm, we farm and people like that. Because at the end of the day, we're just regular people. We're, we've got the same issues as everyone else. Um, and we certainly, I, I never ever think of myself as being, uh, I don't even like using the word. Like, let's just say I, I, I know I'm well known, but that's all I like to be called really. Uh, I like to be, think I'm just like everyone else. Cause you know, we're all, we all are going to take out the bins, aren't we? <laughs> right, crack on, we'll see you in a bit. Right, we're on the road again, through the country lanes of uh, Ireland. We've just been back to see Adrian and family, and we just say, Yeah, they were. We stopped for two minutes. Didn't yeah, two we? minutes, how long we were there for? Oh, a couple of hours. <laughs> right. like two hours or something, yeah. a bit more than that, even. It's when you click with folks, yeah, you just so we, click. We've had a lovely chat with yeah. them. Uh, 
<laughs> and there's some really good laughs actually. Yeah. So uh, we're heading back now. We're, we're on the road to Dublin, about an hour and a half, I think. We haven't got a time, I don't think, for the Guinness factory. No. We'll have to save that for another time, but we're going to have a little quick look around Dublin before we get on the flight, have some new eat perhaps. Yeah. Might so, find a cobbled street or something. Yeah. That's so we're cracking on now. We look at these lovely little lanes here. It's like being at home. <laughs> right, it's pretty soon we'll be on the streets of Dublin. I'm at home. Take down my name. A little derelict up here. Yeah, nice old building. Mm. Interesting mockery. Great old house. Into Dublin. 20. Oh, it's gone dark now. 19, uh, 19 mile, miles. 19 to Dublin. miles to Dublin. We're getting moved close to Dublin now. There's a plane up there going up there. Where is it yeah, going? Airport's off at this oh, junction. Just going up. Oh, we're getting off here, are we? No, no, we're going on. But um, yeah, the airport is off at this junction right. here. So we're going in, into the city centre now. Right. So we got a flight at quarter to nine, I think it picks us up. Is it right, 8.45 and then we land at... In two about minutes, an hour. continue on to M50. So we, we've got a little bit of time to walk around the town. Oh, look at that. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. Getting in. All right, we're going in the main drag of Dublin. Half a mile now. Bearing in mind, we don't actually know where we're going. No, I just follow me. We're thumb. just following. <laughs> yeah, just, just follow me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Follow that. Yeah. Something always in front of your yeah, thumb, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. What if your thumb's like that? Oh, well, that's after four points. Turn right. Yeah. Turn right. Straight on. You've got to line yourself up with the white line in the middle of the road, don't you? Yeah. You stick your thumb on That's the what we do. Yeah. It's just like spreading fertilizer on the tractor, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You aim for something in the far end of the hedge, isn't well, it? Well, aim for that tall pointy thing. You aim for that. That's yeah. it. You get a good line of nitram yeah. down to there, isn't it? Down to the down to there, we can we can run it run the nitram down there. Nearly there. Right, we're in Dublin. We've actually got out of the car. We're already lost. We're on Henry Street. You're lost. I'm just following. Do you know where you are? No. I don't know where I am. We're going to walk down to. Well, where are we going? Temple Bar. If we get there. Yeah, maybe. We've both decided that this isn't a priority of the trip, that haven't we? All there, like the yeah. that thing. So it's not a priority of the trip to come to Dublin. It was all about the ploughing and the yeah. and the crack, as grass, they say, grass, and the grass. grass. And, and now, basically, we're two farmers in a city. We're a bit out of our comfort zone, aren't we? Uh, a bit, a lot. And we're very similar, in our opinion, to shopping. But basically, we... we uh, this is like a herd of people. Isn't yeah. It? Shopping's a necessity for some people, it's not for me and Ian, is no. it? As you can probably tell by how we dress. Yeah. yeah. So we're going on through the town, we, we're not quite sure. And you're here to hear that. So, uh, see me in heaven. Like, do you hear that? Like, see me in heaven. See you in heaven. See you in heaven. Yeah, so anyway, we're gonna, I'm going to do a little bit of catch up when we see something interesting. But at the moment, this is, this is our view. People shopping. Herds. Herds, Herds of people shopping. What is... Yeah. I think... And Ian, I, I know I can speak for Ian. Give us the green fields of Gloucestershire any day, isn't it? my camera in my pocket. Yeah. I don't think it's going to get good I, I think, Well, I don't know. Whoa, look at that. Yeah, I'm going to keep my hand on it for sure. Right, let's turn this off. We'll see what we find later. <laughs> I'm not taking that home for Mrs. Cornock. Hey, we've done a really good thing of actually doing zero research on Dublin uh, and knowing what's what here. Said. Hey? Yeah, what you said. What you said. We've done no research whatsoever because we weren't sure we were coming here and now we realise there's a flaw in our plan in the fact we actually really don't know where we're going. We do put Temple Bar on the... Um, we, well, we said we were coming to Dublin, we managed that bit. Yeah, well, this yeah, is kind of like a tick box because we... Last bit of trouble. Yeah. We haven't um, actually 
had a plan for Dublin because we didn't really know whether we'd come here. So seeing anything here is a bonus. Uh, actually quite nice really. If you had a bit more time to relax, it'd be all right. There's a river going through. I can't remember what the name of the river is. Bay or something? Yeah, some nice old buildings here. I think the parliament's up there. Is it? I think so. Oh, I ain't getting involved in politics. No, that's really bad. Right, so... What? Yeah, I'm starving. Yeah. Right, we're going to get something to eat. We're just walking around. This is just a little finish up for the trip, really. We just can tick box. And I think I'll come back here one day with the wife and kids. Definitely do the Guinness tour. Um, we haven't got time for that, though. We've got to get to the airport fairly soon. Lunch done. There you go, a bit of Dublin architecture there, very nice. We think that might be the Parliament. I, do we think that's the Parliament there? That building? We, Grandish, looks like nice-ish down there, the Theatre Olympia. Oh, he's going. Bye. He's left me. I didn't realise he's going to leg it over there, otherwise I might have legged it with him. I'll let him, I'll tell you what. We, uh, we just grabbed a burger, it wasn't the best. Uh, what's he say? We, we're literally on our time limit, I think, so we're literally heading back to the airport virtually as soon as we check this out, what this is. Anyway. Oh, okay. City Hall, apparently. There we go, very nice. Irish flag up there above. All right. Done our bit of Dublin now, haven't we, really? We just don't have the time. Uh, There's a cow in there, look. Uh, Beef and lobster, look through the door. Oh yeah. There it is. It's an orange cow. Orange cow. Well, does that make you feel like you're in the countryside now? Oh. Uh, I'll grab the tit on that one. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to put this away. We're, we're, we're going back that way. We're going back that way. We're heading back. We'll see you at the airport. Whoa, we're back. We're back at where we started, really. Picking up the car. There's the plane taking off from the airport. And we're just sort of sorting our, our car out. We're, we're about to have our car inspected. And then I think we're done. This chap here is going to come and have a look at our car. Hopefully, if he looks at any marks on the car, he's going he's to know that they were there for. Otherwise, we'll be pulling out this video to show him what we filmed earlier <laughs> when we picked it up. But uh, we're pretty well done in Ireland. Pretty, pretty damn good time, would you say, Ian? I reckon, yeah, I've had a work way. Yeah, what, how did we sum this up with the end of it? I'll Fan, definitely come again. Fan Dabby Daisy, yeah. really. Fan hey. Maybe not do Dublin again, but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I prefer fields. We we both we know where we belong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. in the country. Yeah, in the country. Two two country boys have done our trip around Ireland. Anyway, hope you enjoyed what this little series we did. See you again soon. Rack up, cheers. Well, back home. Fantastic trip, really. Uh, absolutely loved Ireland really great place a um, couple of thank yous really thank you to Abby for hosting us when we went to the event and showing us around the factory um, but uh, a couple of other main thank yous really firstly to the Irish people who were so welcoming to us uh, when we were in the show and also just out and about I generally thought the, the Irish people were very friendly uh, but also a massive thank you to Adrian uh, from my farm, Voy Farm. Honestly, when we visited him, he was so welcoming and warm to us, and we had such a laugh. I, I, I've just been editing the video now. I actually, look back on it, and uh, I, I just forgot how much we laughed just during, during his company. And that's always a mark of a man, I think, for me. Is it, does he make me laugh? And he really does. Uh, and so I look forward to meeting him again. And also, uh, if you've watched the live video, we had quite a bit of fun there, which we recorded at his house. Go on iFarm We Farm's YouTube channel, click on the live bit, I think it is, and you'll see the video. We are about an hour and a quarter of rambling. We had a laugh. Uh, he's going to come back over here at some point. I need to drink a cup of tea with him with brown sauce in it. What the hell is that about? I don't know. And also, I got introduced him to the joys of a Scotch egg because he doesn't know what that is like. Apparently, they're not available much in Ireland. But also, thank you to him for this T-shirt. Look at this. And uh, this is all to do with the local football team. And I've only got one thing left to say. Cavan for Sam. Cavan for Sam.
And if you're from Ireland, you'll know what that means. Cavan for Sam. Crack on. Well, that's it. Back to reality now. I'm just checking things. I am. Um, I'm on. The, I'm back on the farm now. Uh, on my own, actually. My brother's away for a week. I've already. Uh, so I started this morning. About I got up about quarter past five. Started this morning. Um, first. First thing I saw was on Facebook. Someone had put some cows out in Titherington. Uh, I had to go and check that. One well, hours, thank God. Still got me worried though. It might be those poachers back. Um, and I've. And then I went and I was feeding the calves this morning and there was a flipping calf that had wedged itself in the feeder. Got that out. Oh, but I'm also dealing, I've got a downer cow. Here she is, look. All right, girl. Now, last night I came back, we, she was there, we put her there. She scrabbled across here. She is trying to get up. She's in good shape um, for a downer. I think the flies aren't very good on her though, look. She'll give her a bit of water. Um, let's just see. Put that down a minute. All right, go. Keep her well fed and watered. So I've lifted her, me and my brother lifted her last night. My brother's off in Malta now. His payback for her, he covered for me while I was away. I'm covering for him while he's away. We lifted her last night. She's eating and drinking. She's, she's putting a bit of effort in. I, I might lift her again tonight. Jack and Harry will have to help with that. Um, I'm hoping that I, I think it's just time. She's better in, she's better on grass than she is in a loose box because she's got room to stagger her about and have a go. Took the calf off her last night, put in a pen because there's no good. Uh, the calf won't be able to suck. Um, got some more water, love. She had, a, she had a bucket there. I'll give her another bucket. But uh, yeah, back to reality. You know, can't stay away too long. Got a business to run. Got a farm to run. Oh look, hang on, look, look, look at that. Oh, oh, you poor girl. You poor girl. She's trying, isn't she? She's trying. I, I'm hoping with that, to see that, she's definitely trying. Um, hoping she'll get up later. But uh, as I said, as I was saying, you can't, with a business like this, it doesn't stop, especially dairy farming. I can't a bit forward to be away doing silly things all the time in Ireland, that, as much as I like it. Um, the reality is the business come f comes first and uh, here I am straight on it. I don't know how these people manage who want to try and be famous and, and things. You, basically, I, I think if you try and chase chase a dream of being some sort of celeb, you, you've got to give up on something. You have to give up on your business or your family or something. Uh, I don't know how Adam Henson does it, I really don't. I, I Hats off it to him, you know. He's, he's a good image for farming. Not everyone likes him, but the reality is we do need someone like him to be a face of farming. But I can't believe he does any farming, really. And that's not a slight on him, that's, but that's the truth of how can you do all the things he does and, you know, run a farm and everything. You must have a manager doing it. I don't believe he's got on a tractor and done a lot of work himself in the last year, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, anyway. I'm going to carry on with this. Feed. I go and give her some more water. Bit. I don't like the look of the way that foot's gone now. That ain't comfortable, is it? So I think I'm going to have to roll her over. I'm going to turn this off now. Anyway, back to reality. See you all. New videos coming soon at some point. I've got the pigs going. Uh, there'll be some sausage and bacon on that for hopefully. Um, I'm going to attract a blessing as well. That should be interesting. Anyway, all the, all, all between working. Right, crack on.